In today's Pittsburgh history segment, we're taking a big step back in time, 16,000 years back, as a matter of fact, with a visit to the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter and Historic Village. Here to tell us what makes this national landmark so significant and why now is the time to visit is Heinz History Center President and CEO Andy Masick. This is really neat, and I actually didn't know much about this until I started reading up before you came here you today. Know, it's really a well-kept secret. Even though the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter is a national historic landmark, and it's only 35 miles from downtown Pittsburgh in Washington County, most people have never heard of it. Yeah. But 17,000 years ago, Heather, imagine what Pittsburgh was like then. It was right at the end of the last ice age. There were three-toed sloths and saber-toothed cats and, and mastodons, elephants walking around here. The first human beings in the Americas arrived between 17 and 20,000 years ago, and they followed the ice sheets, you know, the glaciers that covered most of North America, and they were hunting big animals. Well, fast forward to nearly the present, a man in Avella, Pennsylvania, a guy named Albert Miller, found this little spear point. Uh, it's called the, um, the Miller Point today by archaeologists. It's famous because when he found this and brought it to archaeologists at the University of Pittsburgh, they said, hey, that couldn't have been found in the Americas because there weren't any human beings here as early as that was made. Wow. And he said, but I can show you the place where I found it in a cave near Avella. I saw a groundhog excavating a hole and this popped out of the hole. And that was in the 1950s. That's right. Albert Miller in 1955 found that point and then brought it to the University of Pittsburgh. Okay, so I wanted to ask you about this because this is what struck me. Out of all of this, it wasn't the 17,000 years or anything like that, but the 20 years it took to get people out there to actually start digging. So what was the holdup during you know, that time? Albert Miller went to archaeologists and historians and said, I found this thing here. And they said, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they didn't believe it. They thought it must be from Europe because that's the kind of point that was being made uh, in that time period. Yeah, in Europe. And nobody thought that human beings were on this continent earlier than 10,000 years ago. So this would push back the clock uh, by 7,000 years. Wow. Well, now archaeologists have gone there. Uh, they started excavating in the 1970s. It's the benchmark for all archaeology in North America. That's what it looked like 17,000 years ago. And then the archaeologists went in there and they uh, dug their pits. Then they went down 20 feet. I think uh, our next image shows how deep this wow. thing is and they could trace the fire pits or the hearths of all those families who lived in that rock shelter Incredible. for 17,000 years and they could use radiocarbon dating to test the charcoal to determine how old it was and lo and behold 17,000 years. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. That and is simply incredible. And you brought something else with you I too. did. This is the kind of, of spear or um, uh, well, this is the atlatl, the famous atlatl. Okay. This six foot long dart is what uh, prehistoric peoples would have used to kill mastodons and saber tooth cats. And the thing is you hook this little device called the atlatl. And you said on, it like gives you another joint. It's like one more joint and you can throw <laughs> this with but tremendous force. But you're not going force. to. <laughs> and, and it will send that six foot dart to its target. We actually, at Meadowcroft today have contests. People come from all over so the sure. world to throw at ladles in competition. And so what we're seeing here on the tip of this is actually, is this, is this, this one of the ones found or this, is this just this a, is replica? a replica okay. of the Miller point? And you can see sinew, animal uh, sinew is being used to, to fix it to a bamboo shaft, turkey feathers help uh, guide it in flight but you could throw this with tremendous accuracy and force, and we have competitions. The World Atlatl Competition is held at the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter. 
people come from Australia, New Zealand to throw. This is what I think is really fascinating. If you haven't been there, this is actually a great time to go because the archaeologist who was there at the site in the 70s is actually going to be giving tours. Dr. James Adavazio, in August, he'll be giving a personal tour of the rock shelter. He's a great storyteller. He'll tell you all about how those Ice Age hunters survived here in western Pennsylvania. And he's the guy that believed... Miller. He in believed the in the Miller point and he said, you know, maybe people were here in the Americas longer than we thought. And he was right. And there's also some other displays as well. You can uh, learn about cooking uh, over the last thousand years. You can see blacksmithing going on. There's, a, cool. there's a 19th century village as well as an American Indian village. You can go into the wigwams. You can see how people lived 500 to 1,000 years ago. And play baseball. You can play vintage baseball. We have uh, vintage baseball games. They, uh, they don't use mitts. They use their bare hands, and they are tough. The frosty sons of thunder. Uh, That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. Okay, so it's only open until November, but before uh, all the tours wrap up, there also is a Frontier Heritage Weekend, and that's coming up in September as that's well. That's right. right. So uh, check the Heinz History Center's site or uh, go to the Meadowcroft uh, website, and you can find out about all the events that are going on. It's the land that time forgot. When you go through Avella and down into Cross Creek Valley, you're going back in time. Pretty neat. Okay, thank you, Andy, for coming in. And to plan your visit to uh, Metacroft, Bush Rock Shelter, and Historic Village, you can visit the Heinz History Center website for more details. And keep watching for more Pittsburgh history today here on PTL when President and CEO Andy Masick joins us as a regular guest. Thanks again. You bet.